what's up? It's me, the Zim, and this is the Zim video here on YouTube. Thanks for joining once again. This is the Zim's video journal, episode 154. I've been doing this for a while, since 2014, the beginning of January 2014. And less people have been confused about the podcast than this, so that's good. But I also think less people are even aware of the podcast in this. <laughs> so that's not good. <laughs> it's funny. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, let's start off with the jam of the week, shall we? I do have a jam of the week. Something I found. Not a local thing. It's a bigger than local. But this guy named Jax Jones. I don't know who it is. don't know anything about it. But he's got this song, You Don't Know Me. That just kicked my butt. It came up on Pandora, Pandora and I was digging it. There's the album cover so check it out if you like if you want to see what I the kind of music that I like that's not local music that's it we're on the street this last week we had Aaron Lanford a little behind the scenes about Aaron Lanford's podcast again it's not a behind the scenes of being in the moment of recording it it's behind the scenes of what happened afterward and again um, another week of good amount of shares from people and um I'm reminded me I'm pausing because I realized I want to, um, I didn't look up what happened on online with it in the last couple days, or like today, so let's look, while we're together here, we're on the street, um, let's see how many page views anyway it has gotten, it says here 319 page views. It within the top, it's the one, two, three, the fifth most page viewed on the World Street website. So that's kind of neat. We have ahead of it, we have the Four Corners A Split one, which was cool. We have the 100th episode recording one of the podcast. We have Robin Fairbanks chasing down the Devil's Hunt Me Downs guys. Um, and then Devil's Hunt Me Down is the number one most page viewed podcast so far. But, um, Got a lot more shares. The Aaron Lanford one got more shares and more comments and things. That really, like, the people that did share it did the did it the right way, which, in my opinion, the right way, which is actually talk about it. Don't just hit the share button. So that was kind of cool. That's cool. But, um, yeah, so that's what happened with that. This coming up week, we have Dallin and Silas. And um, Silas, if you remember, he was on a while ago. He helped me with a 100th recording of the podcast at the substation when we did that. He was on the podcast with his other kind of project called Strive Creative Coalition. So, and Silas, I'm down with him, so I just wanted to find out what he's up to more of, and it's Dallin and Silas right now, hip hop kind of thing. So we'll learn about what they're up to next week. So stay tuned. Music, so big news. This is what I titled the, um, the, title of this video is we canceled the tour so life I'm gonna mix life in here with the news about music and stuff so life really decided that it wasn't the right time for the tour um, my car my Sienna minivan that I've been driving for the last 10 years is starting to act up on me and that was what I was gonna take on tour and I don't trust it anymore and I didn't, wouldn't want to go on tour in a vehicle I don't trust. So I'm kind of like, well, I think the universe is trying to tell me something. And at the same time, I'm starting, If you remember, I think it was last week, I mentioned I haven't been doing this right for so long and it's time for me to do it right. And I mentioned as well, or I don't know if I mentioned it, but the right way to do this is to get a solid recording that you can stand behind and believe in with all you with every piece of your being and you can promote and you can be confident you can say this is it this is so badass you need to hear it and we've never had that the Zim and A-Rock and myself in a lot of ways have never had well I'm starting to like that recording with my No Snow song so far is my first thing I really feel like this is a badass version of what I can do and I'm it's finally, it's taken me 40, well, like, how long have I been playing music since, well, whatever, I'm, I'm 40 years old, and it's taken me this long to figure that out, that working with other people sometimes is what it takes, and just pausing for a moment and saving up money to record or whatever it is, 
sometimes is what it takes. And unfortunately, it's annoying because you just want to do it right away. But I really firmly believe that if the Zim and AROC have a recorded representation of what we can do, it will help us out so much more in the long run. And that's where I'm redirecting my energy. Uh, as you already know, I've sent off some songs to my producer to start working on. I've decided to, so I was originally, so in order to get ready for the tour, I was thinking I would do three songs and just get them done, do a little short little thing. But now that we're not going on tour, I decided, well, let's go back to the album idea, get the album done, and I'm hopefully going to hook up with somebody in Seattle to record four songs with us, work on four songs with us, and I'll have my producer, my other producer, work on another four, and that'll be like side A, side B, and go back to that original intention I had a long, like a year ago with this album. And it actually kind of works out because one of the songs that was originally on side B is getting moved to side A, which makes way more sense. And I'm moving, so anyways, so I'm actually, the sides actually make more sense now. And um, and that's just kind of how it'll be. So I'm having one producer work on one, which is side A, one producer work on another, which is side B, hopefully, if everything goes. So I just gotta come up with the money, but I figure since I'm not going on tour and it's looking like I'll have this clear path up till August is what I'm hoping will be kind of in the studio working on this. I'll just have a clear path of making a lot of money because my kids will be out of town for a while and I'll just be focused on making money. So I think it'll work out. I think it'll work out. Fingers crossed it works out. I have enough money to pay for everything I need to pay for in order to make this a reality. <sighs> so there's that. Um, so that's kind of the big news. It's no more tour. Decided it's not the right time. Get this recording done. Make it awesome and then focus on hopefully go on tour in the spring or early spring next year and actually try to hit South by Southwest because I've been wanting to do South by Southwest for a long time and I think that would be a cool goal to have and just let's just see if it happens and if you have any contacts or know anything about South by Southwest send them my way I'd love to play it but I think I'm you know fingers crossed we create a good enough recording that venues and outlets go okay, let me help you now, instead of going, you really don't have that great of online presence. So there's a lot of online presence that I preach that I'm not fully up on. Like my video quality for anything live we do is just not the, the, the level of quality that it needs to be. And it's frustrating because, you know, it's, you know how it is. It's frustrating because it, it means it's hard to be the performer and also create all the collateral. It's really hard to do all that. And so I'm just trying to get things in place to do that. So that's where that is. Um, I'll be in Seattle June 7th through the 16th. We're getting a bunch more podcast interviews. Ed played a show at the High Dive. And I've, all, I've, I got Morning Glory Revival on the lineup. And I just haven't been able to get a four, third band on the lineup. So I actually just sent an email to the High Dive and said, Hey, I need you guys to help me fill this bill out. So that'll happen. Um, what else is going on? I guess there's a few more people I could ask. But I just decided to send it over and see if they can. Because I'm sure they got somebody they can put on the lineup. Um, but all a part of all this thing, part of why... Um, cancel the tour too as I realized like so you've heard me talk last video maybe or a couple of videos ago how my Alexander Thomas stuff that I work on I just haven't had the motivation or desire to I just to do it like when I first moved down here in San Diego so as I said I'm rolling this all into life as well music and life all together um I just haven't had the motivation I just it plummeted it like really plummeted my motivation to kind of hustle really hard to make things happen I think it just, it's just a combination of events, worrying about how I'm going to pay rent, you know, my car situation, um, you know, how that's all going to work, you know, making sure I'm driving enough to live, do, doing my, the duties I need to do for my kids, working the relationship between their mom and me and making sure that's all smooth and all the expectations are being met and understood and there's no confusion and if... I need support. It's not looked at as something like I'm trying to get out of something. It's like I actually need support and well, just all these different things that have been happening lately and it's just really affected my ability to stay motivated. 
And luckily, because of like the podcast, and like I mentioned before, I really see the podcast. I, I see the podcast. If I can get the podcast where I want, it will help my music. So I don't see it as something extra. I see my music and the podcast as very much a symbiotic relationship. And fortunately, you know, I look after, if I step back, I look, okay, I've made, um, I have five songs I've written. We're in the fifth month of the year. I'm on, I'm, I'm, I'm staying up with that goal of writing one song a month. Great. I haven't published them because what I decided to do after t at the beginning of the year after I worked on No Snow with another producer was like, I don't want to touch these songs. So I've been reaching out to all a bunch of my friends and every, and so far all f well four of the five songs, well actually all five songs are getting worked on by other people, which is really rad. Um, so, but it means timing of things is gets all, because I'm not putting any pressure on them. I mean, some of them maybe they haven't even looked at once I send them the files and they could just be sitting, but some of them maybe they are working on and they just need more time and things like that. So, but I'm not putting any real pressure on it because I'm not paying them to do it. I'm just like, hey, you want to have some fun and work on one of my songs? So, and most of them, all of them are like, yeah, cool, let's do it. So, but you know, because I'm not paying, I'm not putting any expectations on time. I just say by the end of the year is essentially what I tell them would be awesome. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have 12 songs published and for you to listen to, but then that will also, I'll turn those songs into the Zim and A-Rock songs eventually as well. Um, and then just keep on going. And then hopefully, you know, the idea is to eventually get some of this stuff to start generating money so that when I do another round, I can pay people. I can be like, oh, you want $500 to produce a song? Here's $500. Go for it. Give it back to me in a month. And like, you know, kind of thing, which is my goal. Because it's amazing how much, like, I have so many ideas, but the money, the paywall idea gets in the way so much. Because I know now that I just can't do everything that I want to do personally with music. I just don't have it in me to go from nothing to completed thing and learn everything I need to learn along the way, how to be a professional recording engineer and mixing engineer and pr mastering engineer. And I just don't have it, I don't have the capacity to learn all that stuff. What I'm good at is coming up with ideas, writing my songs, doing little things. And I know now that I need people to work with to kind of craft it more and push it to the next level that it needs to be at. So, and I want to do that more, but what it requires is that paywall. It requires being able to pay people because there's only so many, until I get to a point that people are coming to me saying, hey, I really want to work with you. And they go, great, here's some stuff to work on. But that hasn't happened. So it's all outward at this point. Um, and who knows if it'll change. One of the things that I really like about this, vi these videos is the documentation of it. And it's here now in, in like, 10 years from now, I'll, my kids will be in their 20s and I'll be, you know, 50 and we'll all be able to look back on this moment. And so hi, Jaden and Ryan, if you're watching this as a 20 year old, whoa, um, this is what your dad looked like at 40. <laughs> and um, so it's just kind of, it's a trip, but I'm, I'm glad to document it because I'm hopefully, I want to, I'm hoping I'm hopeful that at some point, I will be able to look back on these videos and go, I'm so glad I did that work. I'm so glad I stuck with it because where I am now wouldn't have happened unless I did this. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that eventually I'll be able to look back on it because I can't see it right now. I can't see that. I mean, I could see the dream. I could see the idea, but I can't see how I get to it completely other than just keep working, keep going forward, keep trying things, keep doing is all I can do. And, and I got a little jealous. I've gotten a little, I've gotten really jealous over the last couple of days of watching what happens on Facebook with a bunch of musicians in my extended community. You know, nobody I know really well, well, a couple I know well, but they, it just looks like they're doing so much more. You know, I'm, I'm falling prey to that idea of validating too much against what other people are doing and not necessarily looking at my own achievements. I mean, I'm pretty proud of myself for continuing the podcast, which I was starting to get to before was like, I'm, even though my motivation is down in general, I, 
I've trained my body to go like keep creating this, keep doing this podcast, keep making things, and I'm able to keep doing it even though my motivation is down. So hopefully my motivation will rise up as I've taken things off my plate, and 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 I'll, I'll be more inspired to keep going forward as as I do things. But I'm I love doing the podcast and I love making music and I wish I could do more of it because I also noticed. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying about the motive, mo- no- watching the outward validation of things and seeing people in this greater community that I'm involved with have six, what I perceive as success with their careers. And I feel like I'm just kind of treading water in a lot of ways and kind of confused about it and not feeling like I'm getting the amount of support that I'd like and feeling like I don't necessarily, am I, am I, do I just suck at what I'm doing or is it good? Because I get mixed, I even I don't know if I get mixed messages, but I interpret messages as mixed messages because I get a lot of people say what I'm doing is a great thing with especially with the podcast, but yet I don't get I don't feel like I get a lot of support for it, and so it's like I don't understand, and I don't know if that's just because of the community I'm a part of because I know the Seattle music community has a really interesting way of defining support, um, but and I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out and keep moving forward with it all. Um, but there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, the lift idea. So I did put out another lift video, but I, what I recognize as well, you know, in order, the the lift thing is awesome. I love it. It's great for me. I don't hate it. I love it. I don't love. I mean, I don't know if I love it. As far as any job I've ever had, I love it. In the relationship of any job I've ever had that I've that provided for my livelihood. I've never had a job I liked as much as I like this. And I like it for the fact that I can change my schedule any moment I need to. Kids need me, turn off the app, go do my thing with the kids. You know, whatever, if I'm sick, turn off the app, t- take a nap, <laughs> you know? <laughs> whatever it may be, I can just change the schedule on a dime, which I love. I don't have to answer to anybody for it. Um, and I can just hustle, try to hustle even harder when I have the ability to work, which is what I do, and which is what makes it a little, I, I, it grew, because of that flexibility, it means I'm working at it a lot, and which means I'm somewhat working at my other stuff less, and when, and I get tired, you know, and I just get tired, you get tired when you work a lot, so it makes it harder to, um, it makes it harder to do the things you want to do. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. Oh, I'm running out of space, so I'll try to wrap it up. I'm pretty much done anyway. Um, so it just makes it harder to do the things that you want to do when you're tired, right? You know that. We all know that. Um, and it makes it harder to stay motivated and has that inspiration when you're tired. But um, it's just, and I'm looking for what, where can, you know, I'm, it would be awesome if, music or the podcast cre- helped create the space to do more of it, which means brought in some money. If the podcast or my music brought in some actual money, then there'd be so much more I could do because I wouldn't have to spend as much time driving. And just, you know, it's one of those, it's the thing, it's the struggle that we all have as artists and wanting to work on our craft, wanting to build something, yet having to devote X amount of energy to surviving and it gets very tiring it just gets extremely tiring but um at this moment right here i'm feeling okay um and we'll leave it at that if you have any questions for me i'd love to talk to you feel free to ask me anything i'll i'm happy to answer any questions you might have um one of the questions i have for you is what can i do to make this a better experience make this better for you what are the things that you'd like me to talk about either here or on the podcast or how could I shape things that you would be more interested in being a part of it mention in the comments and I would love to talk to you about it and see if it's something that I'm willing to do are this week's code for um, the Alexander Thomas clutch if you want 35% off will be canceled 35 there it is all right so I'll catch you next time peace